wondered what's actually inside a shock absorber? Let's find out. All right guys, so what we have here is a Fabtech DirtLogic 2.25 shock. And uh, I've already taken all the pressure out of it. They're typically charged with nitrogen. They've got gas in them too. Um, and there's gonna be a piston in there that moves up and down. So these are the same ones that I actually have on the front of my truck. And now let's open it up. It's a really small hex key right here. It's going to take a minute. Weird. Must be some kind of safety screw. One. And let's fast forward. So while I'm pulling these out, we'll talk about them. So this will be a pretty similar setup to pretty much anything in today's modern cars. Um, very, very similar to how Kings and Foxes are set up. Uh, swayaways, race runners, um, all kinds of all kinds of stuff. This would be an emulsion shock because it is just the one thing. It is a monotube shock. Like there's no remote reservoir to this. There's no bypasses, no nothing. So it's just a basic shock. Um, gives you an idea of what they're like. You know, you can take it apart without having to cut it. <laughs> so we'll take this apart and I can show you guys what's on the inside. So, come on, screw, that's two. Yay, two. All right, so we're gonna try and get this last one out. Come on. These little screws. So, What's behind here? <laughs> uh, fluid. <laughs> uh, hydraulic oil. Um, if you need to recharge them, you can actually get the like manufacturer specific uh, hydraulic oil that they use. Um, I typically just get King, uh, King shock oil because someone's got it and I can typically get it within a couple of days. And you know, sometimes that's everything. I'm trying to get this bolt back in. Uh, or, well, I'm trying to get the tool back in the bolt so I can get it out. All right, and that's all three screws out. Ta da! So, before you take these screws out, like I said, remove the pressure. There's a Schrader valve on this one up here. This is a junk shock. I'm, it's, I'm not worried about this at all. So, now. Oh, this right here is the seal protector. It's like the seal cap. This is the seal that'll, it's like the wiper, so it'll clean the shaft. All right, so here's a trick that I have learned from doing this a few times now. Take these screws, put them back in. This may seem counterintuitive, but there's a great reason for it become evident in a few seconds. So you put these screws in, right? That is because you need to push this seal holder down, okay? Ta-da. All right, so we put these screws back in because what we're gonna do is take this cap and push it down. Ta-da. And that will make this all the more evident. Where's the end of it? Ooh. Back down. Back in your hole. There we go. Alright. Back in there it is. So, what we're gonna do is take a small screwdriver or a pick. Take that snap ring out. See? Ta da! Snap ring. So, there's a cap here that's held in by the snap ring. So, let's now. It out. Now, here's the deal. Unless you've drained it, drained all the fluid out of here, fluid will get you. So, I'm trying to do this without getting fluid everywhere. Because 
because I already showered today and I don't want to have to shower again. Oh! <laughs> Yay! I got it. And got gagged. <laughs> Alright, so before I show you all of that, ta da! Let's pour the nasty fluid into a paint mixing cup that I have left over because of reasons. Look at that. That's clear. That's supposed to be clear. It's definitely been used. Woo! Smells funky. Alright. So, this. That's the end of that. This is just a metal tube with a mounting point. So that's done. Now, I can show you the rest. Give me one second. As I uh, pulled it all out, things happened. So, we're gonna start with this. That o-ring there is actually what ends up sealing a lot of this in. So we're gonna scoot you all the way down to the end of the shaft so we can do this. So this is the seal for the white, for the, the piston, the piston head seal or the wiper. And this is the O-ring, which will help with that. And then, you've got the shims. You see that? There you go. See all these shims in here? That's what controls the oil flow between each ones. And it's the different stacks and the different thicknesses in these, uh, in these, they're basically flat washers is what they are, but we call them, but they're called shims. And the differences in that is what actually makes, uh, it, what does the dampening itself. So you can actually adjust these and tune these based on thicknesses. You can do other things like flutter stacks and basically like put spacers in there. And what you see on this side is actually a limiter. Right here, I believe that is a limiter, and so they can't flex past that. So it pretty much sets a, uh, a stop, if you will. But there you go. That's pretty much how a shock works, man. It's just, it goes through oil. No kind of crazy voodoo, hocus pocus. It's just this. And we'll put it back together real quick. So, take the shock, okay? Take the shaft, put the piston on it. Take this, stick that back in there with the, so obviously you want to use new stuff. This is a shock I don't really care about. Hear that? <laughs> it's always fun playing with this stuff. All right, now, ta-da, that's in. I'm not putting fluid back in this because why waste good fluid? There we go. Take the bolts out. Slide the cap and that seal back down. So as you can see, these are completely rebuildable. And that actually is fantastic. I got the pair of them with brackets and all kinds of hardware for $125 used on eBay because I needed a extra shaft for one of my other ones. So yeah, I got actually, sorry, I got a pair of blue ones um, for 125. These I just picked up for free because somebody was throwing them out at work. And I was like, I will take them. So yeah, they swapped out for Bilsteins. I was like, you're dumb. <laughs> so, there you go. That's back together. Ta-da. So as always, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you can, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing. Um, I have a blast making these videos and to be honest with you, every, every one of my subscribers, everybody that watches this, thank you. 
Uh, you guys mean a lot to me. So just wanted to say that. Keep going, guys.